This is the steward, faithful and prudent, whom the Lord set over his household to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dearest brothers and sisters, as we gather on this Wednesday evening, we do in the company of uh, St. Blaise, bishop and martyr, in the company of one who celebrates uh, with us the mystery of divine life, who invites us into a realization of God's love, and who, through a particular intercession, is especially known for uh, the blessing and healing of illnesses of the throat. And so with Bishop Blaise, with this martyr, with uh, each one of us as men and women called to holiness, let us enter into this Holy Mass seeking uh, particular grace for our families and for, uh, for ourselves. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Blaise, who was Bishop of Sebast in Armenia in the 4th century. Before being martyred, he is said to have healed a boy who was choking. Since the 8th century, St. Blaise has been venerated as the patron of those who suffer from diseases of the throat. We pray in a special way today for protection from afflictions of the throat and from other illnesses. The blessing of St. Blaise is a sign of our faith in God's protection and love for us and for the sick. And so, dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, the supplications your people make under the patronage of the martyr St. Blaise, and grant that they may rejoice in peace in this present life and find help for life eternal through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. At the end of the uh, universal prayer, prayers of the faithful, I need the book, okay. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood. You have also forgotten the exhortation addressed to you as children. My son, do not disdain the discipline of the Lord or lose heart when reproved by him. For whom the Lord loves, he disciplines. He scourges every son he acknowledges. Endure your trials as discipline. God treats you as his sons. For what son is there whom his father does not discipline? At the time, all discipline seems a cause not for joy, but for pain. Yet later it brings the peaceful fruit of righteousness in those who are trained by it. So strengthen your drooping hands and your weak knees. Make straight paths for your feet, that what is lame may not be dislocated, but healed. Strive for peace with everyone, and for that holiness without which no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one be deprived of the grace of God, that no bitter root spring up and cause trouble, through which many may become defiled. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. 
As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. But the kindness of the Lord is from eternity to eternity toward those who fear him and his justice toward children's children among those who keep his covenant. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus departed from there and came to his native place, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished. They said, Where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been given him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James, and Joseph, and Judas, and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and among his own kin and in his own house. So he was not able to perform any mighty deed there, apart from curing a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. As we gather together here in this sacred space, as we come to adore the Lord present in the Eucharist, as we come to participate in things so familiar to us, familiar in the stuff of bread and wine, familiar in the stuff of reading words on a page, we nonetheless participate through these signs in something profound. And as we enter into this house of wood and steel, we nonetheless enter into the very sanctuary of Almighty God. The mystery of Christ Jesus is the very sign of his humility and the wonder of our salvation in him. That our Savior, our Messiah, the Anointed One, is as it were from among us, is recognizable to us, flesh of our flesh, who gives his very flesh and blood for us to receive in our own. But the mystery of Christ Jesus is something so very near, and yet that leads us so very far, that God, almighty, all-powerful, omnipotent, and the creator of all things, allows himself to be humble, to take on our humanity, our brokenness, our weakness, even our sins, and to die like us upon the cross. And in that very mystery, in that very humiliation, there is one his, there is wrought rather his awesome power and our great salvation in him our redemption in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And so are we men and women of bold faith? Are we men and women who go about our day, every day, in our work, in our care of family and friends, in our love for neighbor and others and strangers alike? As we go about all of these different actions, are we allowing the very grace and power of God, as it were, to be revealed in our charity, in our love, our kindness, our goodness, our acts of selflessness. Christ Jesus came back to his home, that is his native place, 
And yet those who knew him, who recognized him as one of their own, were not able to recognize him as equally God. Are we willing to recognize him in our midst and to act on that faith in prayer, in hope, in confidence? And what is it that we can do today or tomorrow and every day that allows us to reveal God's great power in our lives by our faith? Amen. As we aspire, dear Lord, to recognize you at work in our very lives and in all of our works, we open our hearts before you, seeking the promptings of the Holy Spirit as we offer these our prayers and petitions. For all members of the Church, May the Holy Spirit continue to guide us in the ways of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world and in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who struggle with addiction, may the Lord's kindness and compassion come upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the Lord sow seeds that bear much fruit in our lives of discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may they know the fullness of life with God in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died and gone before us in the faith of Christ, in a special way today, we remembered Robert J. Wynn. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers written in our book of remembrance, for those we have been asked to pray for, and those we lift up from the depths of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Thank you. Hold on. As today we typically, this day following this day following the presentation of the Lord. Typically on this feast of St. Blaise, Bishop and Martyr, we would have our throats blessed, asking for his particular intercession and protection uh, for each one of us from any diseases of the th- or illnesses of, of the throat. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, we will not be able to come forward as we typically would, but we can still receive that blessing in common. And so we'll pray together here and now. Let us now pray for those who are sick and suffering, for those who care for the sick, and for all who seek the blessings of good health. And so we pray for those who suffer from sickness and disease, that they may receive healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the mentally ill and for their families, that they may receive comfort. We pray to the Lord. For those with physical disabilities, that the strength of Christ may invigorate them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, For doctors and nurses, and for all who care for the sick, we pray to the Lord. Lord, For those who seek the prayers of St. Blaise today, that they may be protected from afflictions of the throat and other forms of illness, we pray to the Lord. And let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Through the intercession of St. Blaise, Bishop and Martyr, may God deliver you from every every disease of the throat and from every other illness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And we raise these in all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Be with humble spirit and contrite heart, and be accepted by you, Lord, in the sacrifice and your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, these offerings of your people on the feast day of blessed blaze, so that through them, according to our confident hope, we may experience the help of your loving kindness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Blaise you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of, of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Blaise, with St. Ansgar, and all, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you 
through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Receive the communion of the Holy Spirit. The body of Christ. 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 Receive the communion of the Holy Spirit. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. 
The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 I see the communion of the Holy Spirit. I see the communion of the Holy Spirit. The body of Christ. 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 body of Christ. I see the communion of the Holy Spirit. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly, says the Lord. Pastor Lips' food, O Lord, may possess our heart that what has been given to us in time may be redeemed for eternity.
Let us pray. Replenished by the sacred body and the precious blood of your Son, we pray, O Lord our God, that what we celebrate with loving devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. And so, dear brothers and sisters, in that mystery of Christ present to us, Christ present still in our midst through the gift of the sacraments, especially the Eucharist, through the gift of that Advocate who is the Holy Spirit, let us know that God is at work in our midst, and let us allow ourselves to become, as it were, soft in His hands, so that He may make use of us as His instruments for the salvation of our brothers and sisters in the world. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be your protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, immaculate heart of Mary, Saint Joseph, Saint Blaise, Bishop and Martyr, Saint Ansgar, all Ho Saint John the Evangelist, Pray for us. all holy men and women. Pray for us. Immaculate Mary.